One day, while magnet fishing with my giant magnet, I pulled this from the river. Oh, what is that? There's something there. Oh yeah. Come on something, guys. Come on something. This seems pretty big, whatever this is. What in the heck is this? No way. A road sign? Oh my gosh, you guys. My first road sign. Shut up. What does it say? Blue reflectors indicate freezing temperature. Well, that sounds important. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Ah, nice man that is awesome blue reflectors indicate freezing temperature well they're white so it's obviously not freezing guys it's like 95 degrees out here we don't need this sign right now dude that is awesome i can't believe i just found that and the knife right before that dude yes this side of the bridge is hot Today we're going to be doing a little bit of restoration and we are going to be cleaning up this sign that you just saw me pull out of the water. I'm pretty sure I found that sign I want to say like three years ago. It's been a while, maybe even four. But like I said you guys, I've been collecting stuff for years. I have tons of stuff to clean up. Now this restoration should be pretty short, pretty quick and easy. It's just a sign, there's really not much to it. But I do need to be gentle because I don't want to scratch the paint on this thing. I've actually never seen seen one of these signs before so I can imagine this thing's probably pretty rare and who knows how old it is so let's go
check it out guys. We got a little bit of snow today. So I wanted to test the sign out to see if it actually works or not. And it does not look like it actually works, unfortunately. Blue reflectors indicate freezing temperature. Well, we know 100% it is definitely freezing temperature because there's snow on the ground. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this thing works. It might be a pretty fine line. Maybe it has to be really cold for this thing to turn blue. And then again, maybe it doesn't work and that's the reason that it was tossed in the river in the first place. Either way, we got it cleaned up pretty good, you guys. There is a little bit of dirt here on some of it, but I, that's not really dirt. I don't know if it's really rust. I can't tell what it is, but it's like stuck to it. Either way, that's good enough for me, you guys. I think that sign looks super cool. Now I just have to find a place on the farm to put it. We got this sucker all cleaned up, you guys. I think I might end up just taking the pole right off of the sign. I'm not even sure. There is a little bit of gunk on there still. I don't really know how to get that off. Maybe one of you guys can give me some suggestions because I don't want to ruin the paint. There's already a couple nicks and scratches in it and I don't want to ruin it anymore. Definitely a super cool collection piece. This sucker's going up in the man cave. And eventually, once I start getting everything set up out there, I'll start taking you guys out there with me. I still need to get like my whole workshop set up. But being out here on the farm, we have so much more room. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap our video up here for today. Pretty quick, pretty easy cleaning, but it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and get the heck out of here. If you enjoyed this video today, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned, and I will catch you on the next one.